welcome back to my channel it has definitely been a while since i last posted and honestly so much has changed in my life since last year and i definitely took advantage to kind of like just step back and reflect reflect on my goals where i was at and if what i was doing currently was actually fulfilling me so overall so much has changed i'm finally in a place of like rebirth redefining myself and my brand and it's finally time to give a full-blown life update so let's get ready into this session but before quickly getting into that i just want to make a quick update that i am filming this during the day and i also live in new york city so excuse the noise if you hear anything in the background there's just so much going on outside but i really wanted to get this video done during the day so i apologize if you hear any noises but please disregard that and let's just not forget to give me a big thumbs up to show some support and love to the algorithm for me and as well as to subscribe to catch on all the latest videos so let's take it back where my headspace was the beginning of 2023. I had just hit three years in my online business and I remember telling myself from when I first started that I was going to give myself three years, three years to go all in. And at that moment of reflecting, I realized my business was stagnant for two years. I did not see as much growth as I would wanted to, especially for the amount of work that I was putting in. And I just felt like I've gotten to a place where I was working harder to just really maintain for all the work that I have already put in. And this honestly led me to feeling really sad and kind of like get into a semi-depression. I felt super discouraged and upset on how in the last three years I didn't hit my goal, although I knew I did everything to my best abilities. And just unfortunately, it did not work out. And it took me some time to figure out my next steps. So eventually I decided it was time to take a break and step back until I could finally figure things out in terms of if I was gonna stay if or if I was going to pivot. In those months that I took a break, I really leaned more into God for guidance and for clarity. And it seemed that as I got closer to God, I started to feel farther away from what I was doing at the time, right? With my online business. And through that time as well, I did started to gain a little bit more clarity and a little bit more kind of like confirmation as well about my past choices, the work that I put in in my business and as well as like my future. And eventually I started to feel the sense of like peace and comfort. And I started to kind of like feel like myself again. I started to feel a lot more joyful again um and just confidence and i feel like a lot of that had to do with my mindset because my mindset started shifting i started to think a little differently i started to open my mind to a lot of different opportunities i started to change my priorities and really just kind of like go with the flow like just accepted whatever came in my way and then that honestly led to me investing in a different opportunity and that was in a digital marketing course to learn more about the online world how to build your online brand how to start your own online business and as well how to genuinely make profits online so ideally for me i thought that maybe this was an opportunity for for me to kind of like use this to help me develop new skills that I could use in my online business at the time to help me grow because I thought that maybe maybe that's what it was maybe I just needed to develop new skills I needed to master you know these online skills because you know technically everything has gone digitally so if you're not on top if you're not on top of the trends, if you're not mastering those skills, then, you know, you're you're sinking. Your boat is sinking. But little did I know that God had other plans for me. So just make sure you wait until the very end to see how all of this wraps up and how it unfolds all together and how everything just kind of like just makes sense and just works honestly for the better getting back to uh, what i was saying with my life's update the more i dove into this course and i invested myself to learning all this new information the more my mindset started shifting and i started thinking things differently 
and started to really set some boundaries in terms of what I was willing to do and what I wasn't willing to do when it came to running an online business or just being on just being in the online space overall and one of those things was not working harder but working smarter and how to attract and effort and effortlessly gain profits rather than chasing the next goal or chasing profits like i i was done with that and so i was really leaning in more into this other side where it was really about attraction marketing and just really about just genuine selling and you know building your brand it was kind of like a new world for me and just learning all this new information definitely inspired me to take a different action and actually pivot <laughs> for real this time but just quickly if you're actually interested and you want to learn a little bit more about digital marketing and how to build an online business or how to build your online brand and sell online then definitely make sure to head to my website to learn a little bit more about the course madelineromero.marketing.com or you could check down in the description below for the exact link so continuing on, after a few weeks working on this new project with digital marketing, I officially started finding myself disengaged from my previous online business, especially as how I was just mentioning, right? Like I started having these mindset shifts and I started to, you know, think about what I was willing to do versus what I wasn't willing to do. And so a lot of the things starting to kind of like disaligned, right, with my values and what I believed um, currently at the time or what I was starting to believe. And it just it just didn't felt like my previous business, it, it wasn't aligning with me anymore. And it wasn't something that I was honestly willing to continue to, you know, to push and grow because I've, I've already dedicated myself three years and with my new values, it just it just didn't match. So I feel like it was finally time, you know, for me to let go and to move forward, right? Close that chapter in my life and move forward and to start newer things that really uphold my values i wasn't sure exactly what it was that i wanted to do next but i knew i knew i wanted to do something and i started to feel a little disencouraged again because i kind of felt confused i felt now i'm in this space of like okay well i feel like i don't fit anymore with my past and what i was doing before and i like this new information that it is that i'm doing but i didn't want to continue going the route of just selling online i i felt like i wanted to do something different but i wasn't sure 100 percent what and so in that time like i just really got desperate like i really wanted to find that clarity and find that confirmation find that guidance so at that time i leaned in even more on god and i really felt like i wanted answers and i wanted answers now so when it really comes to wanting to wanting to find clarity and wanting to get answers from god a lot of christians turn into you know prayer and fast and so that's what i felt like you know why i feel like this is my time and and in a way i felt kind of called to do it as well so we're doing some research i actually stumbled across the the three-day fast um the three-day esther fast correction and i felt that that was the one that i was meant to do and so i actually did it and this was actually the time of the week of valentine's day so i did it for three days and the first day like I did not eat anything. I just simply only had liquids. Um, I prayed all day. I journaled all day. I listened to a lot of, you know, sermons and, and a lot of worship um, music. Like I was I was committed because I was so desperate for for clarity. And within the next day. In the afternoon, I finally felt like I like God has spoken to me. Like God gave me the clarity that I was looking for. He gave me the answer. He gave me the confidence. And it was that he helped me remember my passions. And that goes all the way back from when I was a teenager. And it was actually to be a YouTuber. But clear correction. Let me just let me just pause right here. Okay. My generation grew up to social media. Like when I was a teenager, the first thing that came about when um, that came about with, you know, influencers, content creators making money online was with YouTube. Right. That's when YouTube was popping. YouTube was the only social media platform that you was able to generate money. 
And that to me was so like was so amazing. I was so inspired by it. I was so excited by it. I'm like, this is what I want to do. Like I always seen myself becoming a YouTuber, making content and, you know, working from home. Um, but bringing it to the present, right, in 2024, that's basically being a content creator or an influencer and utilizing multiple different social media platforms, um, which I do have, right? Clearly, I have my YouTube. I also have my Instagram. I have TikTok. I have Threads by Instagram. And um, I also launched a podcast as well because I just genuinely love to create content. It's always just been a passion of mine, something that I love to do for fun, but also to, to give value and some way somehow impact others. Um, but like I said, it's always been a passion of mine. And a lot of times, if, you know, leaning more into that route, it's not profitable in the beginning, right? You're not generating income right away when you're starting off as a content creator or aspiring to be an influencer. It's going to take some time. And so this is why it, it's always been something in the back burner of mine. Um, I've always been led by business first because at the time being, right, with my first business, I was generating income where I was able to work from home. So I was I was leading by first with business. And I was just like, oh, yeah, you know, like eventually I'll get into the whole content creator phase and everything. But I was never really 100% devoted to it. And... Now I'm I'm in this I'm in this position where I'm letting go of the business and I'm not I'm not focused on um, focused on leading first with business. I'm really looking for something that's going to find me true fulfillment. And, you know, being being brought back to that of like, oh, wait, you know, like we actually always wanted to do content. We wanted to do it for fun and something that Steve Harvey always says, God will make room for your gifts. And it's so true. I feel like this was the time that he was calling. He was calling for me like, yo, this is your gift. Well, not literally, yo, but <laughs> it was like, you know, this is this is your this is your God given talent. You know, like you are creative. So really tap into that creative side and create content, you know, for fun. And, you know, in, in the midst of that, I am going to be able to influence and, and impact others and really make a difference when it comes to the online world. So everything just kind of like just started coming into first in full circle at that moment because i'm like oh my gosh yes like i'm i'm i mean don't get me wrong like you know it's scary because again i'm not generating income you know from this um i'm really you know doing this as like a passion of mind of creating content and now also to figuring out what kind of content is it that that i want to create um and really focusing on building my brand but definitely felt that God was giving me the confidence to to do this and to go after this passion project of mine, this dream, this aspiration of mine, because looking back, I'm like, wait, I have three years of entrepreneur experience. I now have this new knowledge of digital marketing and how to build my own brand and how to, you know, just be authentic and everything that has to do with the online world kind of really goes into the whole content creator and now this whole different mindset shift and i'm just like yo it's it's so crazy how god kind of like worked it all together i'm like you know what this all makes sense because if i honestly would have started first back then with building my my content i would have had stayed consistent i would have had you know maybe had the confidence like like i have the confidence today because Within those three years of being an entrepreneur, I had to learn how to build consistency. I had to learn how to employ myself and do the things that I didn't feel like doing, but because, you know, like I had to show up for my business. So now since I've, I've developed those, those skill sets and those disciplines, um, you know, those characteristics is kind of like, okay, you know what? Like I can do this. So that's where like the confidence started to kind of like coming up and I'm like, okay, like, I see you, God. I, I, I see how you've been working in my life. And so it made me really realize, you know, looking back that it's just like, you know what? This this didn't work out because it wasn't meant for me. It wasn't really my true blessing. It was just really and it was really a moment in my life where God wanted to work through me to help build me. So then therefore I was ready and I was capable of handling my blessing. And it's crazy because a lot of times it, it is like that, you know, in, in our lives, you know, we may think like, okay, why is this not working? 
Well, sometimes it's not meant to work. Sometimes it's just it's just there currently in your life to get you from point A to point B. So then that way, eventually you'll get to, you know, like you'll, he'll lead you to your blessing. He'll bring that blessing to you. So that's another that's another like inspiration or like motivation for for this session here is that if something if you feel like if you feel like you're working hard and you're still not seeing the results that you want to see take time to step back and to reflect and really and 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 really take time to you know to journal and to pray about it and really ask god um if this is if this is really meant for you or maybe this is now time you know that he's gonna move you to your next chapter because that's where i feel like you know, it, it was for me. I feel like I got to a point where I've kind of like just exhausted on myself and I did everything that I could possibly do. And like, that's it. You know, like I've, I kind of like reached my, I kind of reached like at the very top of the lid and now I was kind of like exploding. I'm like, okay, well like now what's going on? Like, I felt like I couldn't fit myself in that bottle anymore that I was in with that business if that kind of makes sense I don't know if the metaphor I'm saying makes sense but in my head is making sense so I hope you can kind of like you know <laughs> I hope you can kind of understand relate or kind of get to where I'm trying to say but anyways I want to leave it with like you know that my god our god is 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 a big god and if the fear of the whole financial um security situation with the whole financial situation, he has been able to bless me with so many different opportunities in these past months, you know, for me to actually just focus and confidently do my passion project. And it's just really crazy because since leaving my previous business that was generating, you know, the income to pay my bills and everything, God has been able to replace that income. It's just been a huge blessing. Like, I'm so grateful that I'm able now to really full focus, like, to just really give my all to this and to really give my full focus to this and not have to worry about, like, oh my gosh, like, how am I going to pay my bills? Like, no, no problem. Like, God's got me. He has been getting me, like, every single month. And I've just, I've just been thriving. <laughs> and I also want to just quickly point out, like with my previous business, if you're curious, yes, I'm still generating some income, but not as much as was as what I was before. Now this is more kind of like an extra stream of income, um, on top on top of the other opportunities that God has been able to fulfill for me. Uh, when it comes to my finances that leads me into uh, this new series this new era that i'm endeavoring in on youtube and also to a brand new podcast as well this series is called a life designed by her and her meaning me you just genuinely building the life that we deserve and that we aspire to have also becoming that it's girl or that girl for you it's about tapping into ourselves our feminine side our womanhood and embracing who we are and who we want to be so expect to see lifestyle content topics about self-care and as well as some fashion and beauty talk so over i'm so excited to be launching this new series and stepping into this new era of mine i'm genuinely doing this because it's a passion of mine i'm doing this you know for fun i'm doing this for me and overall i'm doing this you know to share like i mentioned my overall mission is yes to do it, you know for me for fun um, but also to, to some way, somehow impact, you know, somebody with, you know, the things that it is that I'm providing and the content that it is that I'm doing or whether, you know, an, or like an inspo talk that I'm doing, right? I want to really just really represent women empowerment when it comes to the online space and just really build my own online community for my girlies who get it and for my girlies who really want to be like their own version of an it girl or that girl and i'm mentioning it girl because ever since i've watched gossip girl i love the i love it girl rather than that girl i love like i love it girl like i'm an it girl okay like 
<laughs> that's the vibe that we're going for so make sure that you stay tuned for weekly episodes on my podcast and as well as weekly to bi-weekly videos on my youtube channel thanks so much for tuning in and for catching up with me listening to the life update and i just hope that you are just as excited as i am because if so then definitely make sure to please show some love and support by giving me a quick thumbs up and also to subscribe so then that way you make sure to stay up to date with all the latest new episodes and videos so that is it that is a wrap it's been nice chatting with you so till next time Bye.